in this video, I'm going to give you the reasons why things are so scary. But at the end, we're going to pull it all together and see why each of those reasons is actually a major contributing factor to why we can be so excited about the silver and gold markets. E-I-N-G. I want you to remember those four letters because they're going to explain why things are so scary right now, but also so great for silver and gold. But something that's not scary is the wonderful, warm feeling I get when I think about you. Yes, you. I'm looking at you joining me right now here in the basement. You're welcome here. You're part of the group. Some of us call ourselves basement dwellers, whatever you call yourself. Please come back. Please subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications. You can give this video a thumbs up. Super chat, super thanks, or I super appreciate it. What are these reasons why we're so scared? E, the economy. Come on. Have you been living under a rock? No. You've been hanging out too long in your basement? You're out there in the economy. You're likely part of the 98% of the non-ultra wealthy in the United States. It's tough out there just today. A great example, jobless claims are skyrocketing. What's supposed to be like 230,000 newly unemployed people. The number came in at nearly 260,000, but it's everywhere, right? Bass Pro Shops is laying people off at their boat manufacturing facilities. Everywhere we look, we know the reality of the economy is very difficult. What about the I? That's inflation. A real easy example is this morning. We got news that the inflation numbers for September were much higher than expected. Inflation's not going away. Oh, and by the way, let's remember those numbers that the government reports to us. Well, they've been proven to be basic fantasy anyway. The real inflation rate, the real prices that we are paying at the stores we know are going through the roof. So we've got a slowing e economy. We have I for inflation. What's next? How about the national debt? Have you looked at that lately? I think earlier in the week on September 30th or October 1st, it jumped by like $200 billion. My calculations were that on that one day alone, you, my fellow Americans and me, all got a new almost $700 debt lopped upon our shoulders. And that's not per taxpayer, that's per citizen. That's for each person. Only like a third of the people actually pay taxes in the United States anymore. But the national debt is a massive, massive problem. It's creating issues in the economy. It's creating the inflation that we're having right now. So put on your gold and silver glasses and think about what we just talked about. If the economy is slowing down, aren't people going to want to take money out of the stock market and try to find a new home? Hmm. I wonder what might look uh, attractive during times of stock market instability. What about inflation, right? Is the Fed is fighting inflation and keeping interest rates artificially low. They're on an interest rate lowering crusade right now. All those folks out there who had their money in money market accounts and CDs, as they start to get paid less and less on their safe money, are they going to put it in the stock market? No. What do you think they might just take a look at? How about gold and silver? And how about we don't even need but maybe 2% of that money? to come into gold and silver to make like a two or three or four times difference in terms of the money that's invested in the sector. What about the N, the national debt? Look, no matter how you slice it or dice it, no matter what magic you want to try to apply to it, what smoke and mirrors, bubble gum or duct tape, the Federal Reserve and our federal government may want to plaster all over it. At the end of the day, what that results in is the U.S. dollar's real value going down. And as, again, people wake up to that being the fact, right? Are they going to want to put their money in the stock market? No. Are they going to want to keep it in, in a safe money market? No. 
we will have more and more people, right, with that money flowing into the precious metals. It's worked for thousands of years. It's worked all over the world. The dollar and gold and silver, right, are in an epic battle right now. The only problem is gold and silver have been in the same epic battle with other currencies, fiat, paper currencies, similar to the dollar, hundreds of times over the last thousands of years. And you know what? Gold and silver have a perfect record. They always, always win. And what about the G, right? Remember, I said E-I-N-G. Well, the G is the geopolitical environment that we, we are living in right now. The BRICS countries, war going on all over the world. We are living in a period of geopolitical instability and uncertainty like most of us have never experienced during our lifetime. As the icing on top of the gold and silver cake, that is the uncertainty. We don't like it. We didn't create it, but it creates a very supportive force for the precious metals. It's one of the primary reasons why people for thousands of years have maintained their wealth with precious metals. Hey, it's scary out there, no doubt about it. But like we talked about, when we look at all the factors that are contributing to this uncertainty and scary environment, it becomes pretty clear that all of them lend themselves to being supportive factors for the precious metals. If you want to get your hands on some gold, silver, or platinum group metals before it gets even crazier, potentially, remember, I'm not giving financial advice, but you may want to consider our channel sponsor, Pimbex, P-I-M-B-E-X. They're an online bullion dealer. I've worked with them. Many of our fellow basement dwellers have worked with them. I've received overwhelmingly positive response messages from you telling me what a great experience you had with Pimbex. They always have ultra competitive pricing. They always have a great selection. And what's paramount is it's a company you can trust, but you need to do your own due diligence. I can tell you my experience and I always feel great about working with Pimbex. Also I want to say thank you to First Mining Gold, Canadian gold developer with two multi-million ounce gold projects, gold in the ground in Canada, and Fortuna Mining. They're an active operating gold and silver mining company with operations in Latin America and gold mining operations in West Africa. Thank you for being here. Thanks for being part of the basement. We are in for some really great times ahead. I believe it. It's going to be scary, right? but we can rest assured. I think our gold and silver insurance policy just might pay off. You take care of yourself and I'll see you soon.